Hey everyone, it's Tammy from fightforyoucoaching.com and I'm here with part two of Mom Surviving the College Exper college Senior Year Together. Um, today I'm going to talk about the college process and I do have a few notes in front of me because some of these points are really important and um, some that I don't think any of us knew about and some I didn't know about until this year because the process has been a little different from me. You know, college is where we send our kids to go to become adults. Again, I stress, where we send our kids to become adults. I was that mom with my first two, them poor kids, that um, knew what they needed, knew where they needed to go, knew the whole process, and um, wasn't real good about letting them help make the decisions because, of course, I was the mom. I knew what was best. If you're being that parent now, stop. What have I what I have learned is yes, we need to be there for guidance and to answer questions and support, but they need to ultimately make this decision for them. They're the ones that have to live with this. They're the ones that should get to decide. Don't force them to make the wrong decision because I am telling you from experience it will backfire. I forced my oldest to go to college. I knew that's what he needed to do. No questions asked. Hands down, everybody needs that college experience, and it backfired on me big time. He had told me numerous times, I don't want to go to college, Mom. It's not for me. This is not what I want to do, and I did not listen at all. I didn't pay any attention to what he was saying, and he was right. Um, after a semester of school, he quit. He hated it, and the only thing we did was waste money, but I did learn a lesson. Um, I do know that something I wish I would have did with all three um, kids was start this process a little sooner than what I did with each of them. I wish that in their second semester of their junior year in high school that I would have um, started looking at colleges with them then and giving them more options and more choices and feeling like we weren't rushed. Um, I know we looked at a couple of different colleges with um, Jesse um, and just like two with Michaela. And we did look at a few more with Hunter, but we didn't start looking at those colleges until the beginning of his senior year. And then it was like, bam, 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 bam. One college right after the next. And then we had all this information that we had to switch to shuffle through. And I felt like we, we were rushing to make this decision. And, you know, by December, especially if they do any kind of sports in college or anything, you have to have a decision made about really where you want to go and all of that. <clears throat> so um, this year has been different for us, and I've learned a lot um, and so much in the last six months with Thunder. But I'm still learning, trust me. And um, funny how it works that um, if you're not doing something right in the process, I promise you, they'll help you and they'll help you get it right. A bit of advice on choosing a college. It's their choice though. Remember, ultimately where they go to school is your choice. And what they do when they go to school is their choice. Yeah, we can offer a little bit of guidance, but you guys, it isn't our choice. Um, again, they're graduated from high school. They're becoming adults. We have to trust them in this process to make that decision. We can guide them and offer advice, but ultimately, it's their decision. And trust me, it was hard for me to step back and not say a whole lot as Hunter was making this decision. I was determined to not interfere as much as I had in the past. And Hunter, um, as some of you know, is a thrower, um, a shot and disc thrower in track, and I really wanted him to throw in college. And he wasn't sure that was something he wanted to do. So ultimately, I had to bite my tongue. And I had to say, Hunter, whatever choice you make, we will be happy for you. And ultimately, we would have been. Had Hunter made a choice not to throw in college, we would have supported him 100%. And he seriously thought about it. However, he did choose to throw in college. And he chose a great college. Go Bulldogs. And, and we're really happy for him. But in, in the long run, I'm telling you guys, ultimately, it's their choice. So let them make that choice. Give them advice. But um, don't make it for them. You know, you've got the college chosen. You did the college visits. And you, that's easy. It's over. Wrong. 
Um, the hard part is just um, starting. I don't know if you guys know much about FASA. Uh, yeah, worst thing ever. It is the longest, most confusing form I have ever filled out in my entire life. It, it's like a book of information. And then when you fill it out, you're still not filling it out correctly. And you have to continue to send them more and more information. And I, not that um, it's an important process, but it is a painful process. So I suggest educate yourself. If you can take a class on a FAFSA form or you can, or the high school has um, an information for parents, go to it. I'm telling you right now, it will make your life a lot easier because filling out all these forms and everything you have to do is like your child is signing up for the FBI. They want every little detail you could ever possibly think of. So I'm telling you, if there's a class, take it. It will make your life a lot easier and a lot less stressful. Um, let me see a couple of other things. Then there are scholarships. Um, we had to fill out scholarships forms because the FAFSA form told me that we only qualified for so much of this and so much of that, which is fine. But um, scholarships are important. And I'm telling you, we did a lot of research on scholarships. And when I post this blog later on my website, um, you guys can go back and I'll have the links posted there that you guys can hit on that will take you right to the scholarship websites. But that is something that Hunter and me really concentrated on this year and learned a lot. And let me tell you, there are scholarships out there for everything. Did you know? This was one that I thought was awesome. If you have a child that is artistic, that they can design a card for Hallmark. And if it's chosen, you never know, they can get $10,000 to go to college. Who wouldn't do that? Who wouldn't try to get a $10,000 scholarship for drawing a, for designing a greeting card? So, um, look at all of them. I mean, they're for everything. You know, if you have, if you, um, have family from Germany or Switzerland or your parents are from this descent. I'm not kidding you. You guys really investigate them and really fill them out. Um, matter of fact, we're still filling out scholarship applications um, this week. Um, not that I'm much help to Hunter. I kind of do offer him some guidance, but most of that work is required by them because a lot of them are essay questions and things that they need to answer themselves. So strongly encourage you. You can start that process early too. Start investigating that now so that um, you don't have to worry about it. Because I am telling you, senior year for these kids is way more stressful than it ever for, was for us 30 years ago. Um, I don't remember this ever being as stressful as it is for them. So they've already got this added stress on them. Do whatever we can to make it easier for them. Colleges picked, FAFSA is done, scholarships are done, ready to go. Huh, wrong again. Done? Nope. Then the College of the Choice sends you a book. I'm not kidding you, a book for you to fill out on your child's information. Again, it's like they're joining the FBI. They want every bit of information on your child that they can possibly get. And I understand that they're doing this because they have your child's best interest in mind. But just a, hey folks, FYI, this is what's going to happen to you. Um, I would have loved if I would have known all this information or if somebody would have just said, be prepared. Um, even with this being my third and final child, I'm still not prepared for everything that happens. But in all seriousness, folks, this part has probably been one of the most stressful parts is picking the college, filling out the FAFSA form, filling out the scholarship forms, filling out all the information that you have to. And if there's anything you can do to make it less stressful on you and on your child, do it. Start a little bit earlier. Attend a class if they're offered. Take advice from your friends. You know, sometimes we think that people give too much advice, but on certain topics, it's never enough advice. And I'm telling you, take the advice. I'm still asking questions and I'm still taking advice. Again, I'll post this blog on my website at www.fightforyoucoaching.com so that you guys can read it because I tend to talk a little bit fast and I will have those links for the scholarship sites up for you as well. Thanks guys and I'll see you tomorrow.